think part of what helped me with my work was I left the environment that I had been comfortable in for 25 years in Orange County and in order to establish a studio I had to go live in Riverside County and I lived in a little cabin on a half an acre in isolation for four years and that isolation brought me closer to the natural habitat the natural environment and I guess I just started listening to the things that were really important to me and I read a lot Thoreau at that time was just <laughs> I read everything that he he wrote and I guess I related because I lived in an isolated cabin so I thought thought of him and he also loved nature so much but that's probably what helped me was moving to Lake Elsinore and living somewhat isolated for four years and in the meantime I did meet my work drew drew a woman who had a gallery which specialized in Mexican American Latin American artists so I was one of the few non-Mexican Americans whose work culturally went with the gallery and she and the other artists included me which I was very grateful for and so I learned kept learning more uh, from them and was exposed more to Latin American and Mexican culture. Robert Shaw, I always liked his work a lot. David Middlebrook, um, I'd say those probably were my two favorite. Oh, and um, Patty Warashimi, Patty Warashima, Warashima. Patty Warashima is one of my favorites. I, I really appreciate her work a lot. All of those inspire me. I've just really uh, felt of all things. of Art Nouveau, Art Deco, those, those, um, just the life in them, and the Art Nouveau was very inspired by nature, and I appreciate that a lot about it. And then Art Deco, just the fact that it was such a fun and happy style, and so I, I really could relate to just the happiness that comes through the Art Deco style, the exuberance of it.